Hello, today is Saturday, May 18th. I'm Anu Prakash. A former priest with the Archdiocese of Detroit is now being accused of sexual abuse of a minor. The allegations come three decades after his death. Father Jan Timinski started ministering in Detroit back in 1951 at St. Andrew Church. He served at five different parishes until his retirement in 1976 before dying in 1984. The Archdiocese says that a credible complaint was made prior to 2014. The deadly shootings of two young women just a day apart on Detroit's east side may be connected. We're told the shooter in both incidents was driving a black Chrysler 300. Destiny Reed was shot and killed early Sunday morning. Nyree Henderson was gunned down on Monday night. Anyone with information in either case is asked to call Detroit police. A new case of the measles has been confirmed in St. Clair County. The health department says a person with the virus may have visited the Costco on Gratiot in Roseville, as well as Saints Serial and Methodius Roman Catholic Parish on Ryan Road in Sterling Heights last weekend. Anyone who visited those locations last Saturday and Sunday should monitor themselves. This new case is said to be an international traveler visiting Michigan and not related to the recent outbreak. At least 44 cases of measles have been confirmed in Michigan so far this year. Now for a check of the forecast, let's send it over to 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel. All right, thanks to new and morning showers giving way to some afternoon clearing and warm temperatures too. Our highs are near or even above 70 degrees. Partly cloudy, a chance for a few storms north towards Saginaw overnight. Temperatures in the upper 50s and then some of those storms are redeveloping overhead across Metro Detroit tomorrow. So Sunday we are in the slight risk for severe weather, something we'll be watching after 2 p.m. until about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening with highs 80 degrees. It's going to be a very warm finish to the weekend. We'll keep an eye on that severe threat and then we dry out and cool off Monday and Tuesday. Hallie, thank you. It is the state's largest and longest running comic book convention and it's underway right now at the Suburban Collection Showplace in Novi. Motor City Comic Con runs until 7 tonight and then goes again from 10.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. Tickets start at $30 and we have everything you need to know about Motor City Comic Con on WXYZ.com. Those are your headlines. Remember, you can go to WXYZ.com or our app for news anytime. Have a great day.